Microsoft ones, Royale and Zune, but you just have to copy it into here, click it, double click that, and you'll see Slanix P here in the um, display properties, and then a choice of Slanix P, Slanix P2, Slanix P3. Um, before you actually do this, there's some fonts that are included. He also does one that does um, the Calibri font, which uh, if you don't have, uh, I, I strongly suggest you get it. Uh, but anyway, these ones are the fonts that are included with the file. I'll tell you how to get this Calibri font in a second. So go back into your run box. It says C, Windows Resources Themes. Right, change this Resources Themes to Fonts. Uh, C is the drive that you use. You might have your Windows installed on Drive D or something like that. Not sure, but either way, you'll want to you'll bring up a list of the, all the fonts that are on your computer. You drag over the fonts that are included in the in the theme and drag it into this folder. It will then install it. Uh, you won't get this error. This is mine because I've already got the fonts in there. You'll just say installing font one, two, three, and then finish. So we want to cancel that and then you can double click this if you like this font you can have that now and just click OK um, but if you want to have the font I used uh, which is the Calibri font Calibri font is included with Office 2007 so if you have Office 2007 uh, you can use this Calibri font I strongly recommend this font it's a lot it's very 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 nice um, if you don't have it just go into the Google again and type Calibri.zip and the first link, you notice it says Calibri.zip there, you just click that and eventually it will load and then you download Calibri.zip save it to disk, OK or, or you find any site that has Calibri that has the font Calibri there because I think Microsoft don't like you downloading the Calibri font, I'm not sure why but you can download it anyway from several sites or they are included in some custom themes so you right click that, extract it, double click that and you'll notice you've got four more fonts you just do exactly the same thing, go into the fonts folder drag them and put them in so then hopefully Calibri font will be installed so now I will just close these, all of these now uh, so now you should have it in your display properties uh, appearance Slanix P2 um, for the Calibri font I think it's number three. You notice that it's now all changed with the fonts. So then you just click OK. It says please wait. And then eventually you'll have a black taskbar like like mine. Um, background, right click, properties, desktop. I tend to not have one. I make make sure the colours colours black. Then just type um, type click none. Click OK and then you've got a black background and a black taskbar. Uh, next to do interface lift uh, basically go into Firefox type in www.interfacelift.com I'll provide the links to this site interface lift is basically a wallpaper site you can get really really good wallpapers from here um, several things you can get all high resolution ones people have taken with like really really decent cameras um, so all you do is go on whichever one you want say I want a picture of a cloud or something click the download size you choose your resolution of your desktop mine's 1680 by 1050 press download it'll open it show you a big version of it uh, right click it set its desktop background or in, in the explorer I think that just sets it anyway then set desktop background and I now have this with my black theme which doesn't really mix but just showing you as an example I think I'm going to turn that off so I just sorry just go desktop and then none so we're back to the, back to the black one so yeah in, uh, interfacelift.com is a recommended website for downloading wallpapers now the last thing is a registry tweak uh, basically You'll notice if you change your font to Calibri, you'll notice that things like this will be uh, Calibri. You'll notice that the start menu will be Calibri. But if you go into things like dialog boxes, like if you right click my computer and click properties, you'll find that things aren't actually 
in Calibri, like things like all, anything that's in a dialog box isn't Calibri. So just to just to keep with the theme and keep it looking nice, if you go start run, type in rig edit. This basically goes into the registry on your computer. If you scroll all the way to the top and scroll to the left and just click my computer for the second, you can minimize this a second. Just go edit, find, then type in font substitutes. What it will do, it will search through uh, all the settings on your computer because basically the registry shows every, si every single piece of thing that Windows does on your computer. Eventually it will find it. Uh, that's not the one, so we're going to go F3, which means search for the next one. And here we are, it says Windows NT, current version, and then it says font substitutes. So we're looking for MS Shell DLG. You've probably got this set as MS Sans Serif, that's the normal version that people have. Uh, as their dialog box fonts and things like that, but you can actually change MS Shell DLG. You can just double click it and type it in. I would like it as Calibri, but you you can change this to any font you want. But make sure you've got the font in your Windows fonts directory, which I showed earlier. It's important that that's there. But basically, MS Shell DLG, change it to Calibri. MS Shell DLG2, change that to Calibri, and it should be finished. And that is pretty much it, basically, and that's how I've got my desktop like it is. Um, if you have any problems, uh, be sure to message me. I'll try and help you as much as possible. Um, please comment and rate, and thank you for watching my video.